What's up guys? Uh, another review here. Uh, we're just going to start this one off by uh, showing what we got here. Um, it's a uh, new um, drone that I received in the mail uh, for review and uh, we're going to uh, of course give it the run through flying and whatnot and see how it handles. Uh, now we're just going to open the box and see what, see what comes inside of it. And this hasn't been opened yet so uh, this will be first time that I'm seeing what's inside of it as well so let's just take the gander now this one is the um, the Voyager uh, runs on of course Wi-Fi off of your phone uh, there should be an app that you download which I'm sure the instructions will tell us where to get that this does come with a 720p HD camera uh, the ability to charge off of a uh, charging block, uh, your phone, um, batteries, uh, even the included remote. And so this is what the uh, the box um, looks like. And there's really nothing special um, about this particular um, drone other than the shape. The shape is it's kind of UFO-ish uh, to say, but we'll just kind of look. So here's what we got. Um, everything that comes in this particular kit. Uh, we have the remote down here, which does have a, uh, an attachment um, built in to hold your phone, which is going to be really handy. Um, here is the, um, the little drone, as you can see. We've got three propellers there, and um, the shape is the shape is shape actually looks pretty fun. I really can't wait to, to give this a try. Uh, charging cable. There's a battery right there. So uh, some extra propeller blades and whatnot. I'm sure there's instructions. Um, well written in this handy guide right there. And uh, let's see. Let me get this off real quick. Now, just at first glance, this is going to be compared to some of the other drones I've, I've uh, reviewed. All in the $50 to $80 range. Um, there have been a few that are higher, but realistically, all of these end up about the same. Um, unless you're very gentle with them, they tend to be very fragile. Uh, flying them is 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 a is a learned um, skill and uh, you know things can break. So here's the charging cord included. It has an indicator light to let you know when the battery is full, which is very handy. Although this wire, <clears throat> this this flat wire, uh, I do not like at all. I do not like these are easily. Um, um, bent and uh, torn out of shape. This will not last long. In the future, we'll definitely have to get a replacement for this. Here's the battery. Um, this is a 350 uh, milliamp hour, 3.7 volt battery. Uh, this is pretty common as far as the size goes. Uh, and I'm sure you can get these on Amazon, plus find these online at the manufacturer's website or whatnot. Um, and that will expand once it's once it's charged, and we can probably show that in another video. But this battery will expand in the future. But that's your basic battery, um, basic charger cable. Here is a USB adapter, which is really kind of cool. I, I didn't um, know that this particular item came with it, but it appears there's some kind of placeholder in there. It comes with a 4 gig sand disk memory card. So you have an SD card included, 4 gigs, with this very tiny micro USB card reader, which is very cool, very handy. And I didn't read about this anywhere as, um, on the inbox as included or even on the Amazon page when the seller um, offered to send it to me for review. So that's actually a very uh, nice, nice feature. Um, this particular uh, 
um, drone was going for, I believe, around $85, maybe $88 when I looked. Um, and, and hopefully it doesn't let us down, but that, that's about basic price for a really um, decent flying um, R, uh, I'll keep wanting to say RV, but a, a drone or a flying copter, which whatever you prefer. Six replaceable blades included, very handy. Here's the meat and potatoes. 720p camera included right there. You can see the uh, the uh, wireless antenna at the bottom, which is really best um, in order to keep a, a good uh, uh, signal contact. And uh, this camera looks adjustable and I'm not going to adjust it by hand until I know for sure if it's auto or handheld although it looks like it's adjusted by hand um, it looks like it detaches uh, through a wire right here comes off because underneath it is where you put the battery in so um, definitely want to be um, careful with this camera um, housing because this is where you're viewing your 720p to phone video at so this is going to be um, something that you need to be careful with. Lots of uh, legs, so hopefully when you land, you really get a nice, um, solid landing. Uh, it appears to be there's some LEDs around the top, and I'm sure we'll see those uh, in the future, as well as there's a few on the bottom. So um, The box, I think they look blue, so we'll see what they look like uh, once we get this charged and, and flying. Here's the remote. It will take batteries. Uh, it appears it's for AAA. And so here you'll see, I'll take you through a quick walkthrough via the Google App Store on how to download and install this app. Here you can see I type the name of the app that you'll need. And it is pretty easy to install as it's a small file. It is also very quick. And I backed out and uh, got back into the app so that way you could see exactly which one was the correct one. And again, once installed, the app has only three options as far as any clicking on the screen. Here I'll choose the settings first, which offers you uh, different preview choices. And we'll get out of that and get back into setting up. Now my Wi-Fi connection requires me to verify and choose that I want to connect to the Wi-Fi source when it does not have an internet connection. So this is what I'm actually waiting for to pop up since I've created a connection with the uh, drone itself. Now once that's done, I, um, as you see here, have got the connection to the drone and I'll start to fly. I've taken the on-screen controls off. Uh, at this particular moment in time I'm video recording my screen and then I've transitioned into actual live video from the drone. Now this is shot from the drone directly as I'm flying it through my backyard. Now the video is 720 and uh, it is pretty clear. Um, there are some moments when flying or moving it does become a little shaky but uh, for the most part everything is 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 pretty solid and there I am just giving a cameo uh, just to show how well the, uh, the video does work now what I'm doing here tapping the screen on my phone is I'm taking uh, photos and I'm transitioning back to the um, video from my phone this is where I'm screen shooting uh, what I'm seeing as I'm watching the live video on my f on my uh, my phone. Now there was a moment or two where I I did crash and uh, well I wouldn't say crash but um, yeah I might have uh, lost balance hit something and then you know flopped to the ground but I wasn't too f high up as it was so there was no damage done or anything like that. And as I said in the the video of the previewing of the opening of the contents uh, this does have extra propellers and whatnot, so it is prepared in case there are 
damages that do occur. Now the video that you see is a little bit smaller because it's recorded from the phone screen, but it it's just to show you um, how well the quality coming from the drone is. And what I'm doing is I'm switching here now to just my video camera on the phone so you can see exactly um, what the drone is looking like as far as uh, when it's spinning, flying, and whatnot. So I'll try to just to get a little in action video. It was pretty responsive. The battery uh, seemed to uh, last about 10 minutes or so. After that, it would just, um, as most drones of this size do, uh, wouldn't lift off the ground as it would just spin the rotors. And there you go.